I was off to Peru as a Peace Corps volunteer, committed, excited, and ready to sort of take on this, um, this opportunity. Unfortunately, about four months into my service, I was assaulted. I did a few weeks later get very sick and had to go into the capital, where it turned out I had pelvic inflammatory disease as a result of an untreated STD that resulted from the attack. And right away I said, you know, I'm pregnant, and she said yes, and maybe it was intuition or I just knew what was occurring inside my body, but, um, you know, there's a common theme with sexual assaults that your body's no longer yours, and it was at that point that I, I knew physically and realistically that it, my body wasn't mine, um, that this sort of, you know, I had no control at that point. pregnant and then I was told I had no financial resources to carry out something that I felt was vital to my mental and physical health and it was a betrayal. Peace Corps was, had been entirely supportive 100% for my my well-being and but their hands were tied at this point and it was very hard to hear we want to support you but we can't um, and that fault did not lie with them it lies in the policy um, and it's very difficult for me to hear at that point on top of everything else. And it, that responsibility did not lie with a stranger, it did not lie with my family members or a friend, it, it lay with my employer who could not provide that service for me in my biggest hour of need. Um, I, I'm here sort of lending my voice because no other woman and volunteer should have to be faced with this financial decision, should not have to make it a decision based on what finances are available to her and it is unfair and it is unjust. And, um, as federal employees, we should be allowed the same level of financial support and safety net as other employees of the government. 